the gold one. Um, just for a very like. I'm gonna shave the gold one. I'm gonna be using like two phase four shave foundation in the shade here. And I'm gonna do a no. light layer of this. I'm not gonna go. You don't get my lotion. So I brought up my Tarte Shave Deep in the shade of white, which is one that I always use for my everyday makeup routine. And by looking at the collection, I just realized my best shade is probably going to be Gypsum. I'm just going to go under this concealer and place it in all my normal locations. So that's under my eyes. I'm also going to pull this down on my nose for the only piece that you're going to go to match the nose. In comparison to the shade page, just because I know that that's what I use and a lot of you guys use as well, it is definitely a lot more white weight when I put it on. It doesn't feel so like clumsy, but hopefully that doesn't mean that the cover won't be Let's go ahead and blend in. Oh, wow. Okay, it actually blends out really, really easily. Damn. Well, okay, it probably did not come to play. I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera with all these lights, but obviously you guys know that I talk about a lot of expression in my face, and I just raised my eyebrows a little bit to set underneath my eyes, and now I have really, really bad creases. So hopefully this creature doesn't get too creepy, and when I set it with powder, it'll make I'm going to grab a lighter concealer in the shade Stone from the collection, and I'm just going to put this right in the inner corners underneath my eyes, just to try to build up the coverage a little bit and brighten, because I'm going to put the blush shade on you, so it's going to chip some, but a little bit too close to my eyes. Okay. So now that you're going to be this actually blends out like a dream. I'm going to stay on very, very Pretty deep at coverage too. I know it says light coverage on it, but I actually feel like this might be more of a medium coverage. And if it is light, it's definitely brighter because the reason I saw when they added that second layer, it definitely added a lot more pigment. And then under my lash, it's literally gone. And I got, I think, three hours to sleep last night. So this is oh, kind of impressive. Before we start squeezing all over, I'm just going to blend out my eyes and then grab my trunk to cut it in my beauty blender and just grab that right underneath there to make sure it will set in place. We're also going to pop this on our nose. Then I'm going to perform it to make sure I don't get any crusty wrinkles. And then just using the aspect to go over dark my face. I'm not going too intense because I do want to be kind of dewy today and not too matte, but obviously you want our makeup to stay on. Looking at the mirror, I absolutely love how this works so far. I was able to layer up the coverage so it looks super, super nice. My under eye bags are literally gone. Honestly, it looks really, really flawless. I'm so pleasantly surprised. I didn't think they were going to be bad, but I was not ready for this shape tape. Maybe quaking by the end of the video, but obviously we have a lot more to go. But the one thing that I will say, and it will be my blood going on and skin soothing filters, there is no way that you're going to be able to see this on camera, but it is here. You're just going to have to touch on this one, I promise. If you are a fellow glasses wearer like me, right up in here on the nose bridge from where the glasses sit on your nose, they're literally like permanently embedded into my face. I can kind of see the circles peeking through on both sides. The concealer does not cover them fully, but then again, I full coverage concealer, so it's definitely not a deal breaker. All right, guys, now that my face is all set in place and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup routine, and then I'll be right back to do a little check-in, and then I'm going to wear this for a few hours, and we're going to put it to the test. It looks really great right now, but who knows, in a few hours, it may be creasy and gross and completely worn off. We're going to have to find out. All right, sisters, it's been about one hour now, and I just finished up my makeup. Like I said, I was going to go for this light, everyday look. I added some stage freckles and no lashes and just nice and feeling it as well. I love how this look turned out. I feel absolutely stunning. But the point of this video is not this look. It is the concealer. Like I said, it's only been one hour now, but it still looks really, really fun. I just covered up my cheek reasons on the freckles, but you can still tell under the eyes right here. It still looks very, very bright. It isn't actually creasing either, which is really, really great. My forehead looks fine, and my mustache is more fine, and there's no creases. Everything looks really, really good, and I am honestly extremely impressed. I have to head out to see a few different friends right now, but I'm going to take you guys along with me, and we're going to do some check-ins every few hours to see if this concealer stays in place all night long. Okay, sisters, we are doing a Tati check-in, and what better person to do a Tati check-in than the Tati? <laughs> so, I'm wearing a new product on my face right now. I would love for you to tell me what you think about my skin right now. Okay, the foundation looks really nice. Mm -hmm. I like the highlight. I like the whole like brow highlight inner corner moment you have mm -hmm. going on. I dig that. The freckle area, did you make it darker? Yeah, I did. I put some bronzer on and some blush on to like okay. to uh, make it look like these full my nose. But thinking more specifically about like it's a con I tested the kind of concealers. Of course. <laughs> Stop it. It's like a hot product. It's Shock it. Uh, I feel better. Okay. I don't know, it looked a little, oh, were you like loving it? I honestly was. I was a little bit shocked 
because I did I didn't think I was gonna be bad, but I wasn't expecting much and I was actually very pleasantly surprised. Huh. And looking at them compared to what they look like an hour ago, I feel like they don't look exactly the same. Just an hour? Mm-hmm. Your other eyes don't look bad. I think the thing that I'm noticing mm-hmm. is the, the sunshine thing that you did, it's yeah. not throwing off a little bit of the brightness. Well, I feel like I met, I, I, but it's yeah. Not bad. It's I felt like after I did that, I was like, oh, maybe that's a good example for yeah. how to handle that. Is it full coverage or just like... It's light coverage, but I felt like when I put it on, it was more medium coverage, which okay. I definitely was not upset about, and then I was able to layer actually mm-hmm. really well. So it is buildable for sure. Okay, I want to show last my face. Well, I brought some for you if you want to show it. Oh, okay. Wait, so I brought this to talk to you the entire light range of the concealer. This is pretty full coverage, actually. Yeah. I feel like this is, this is actually really nice. I agree. It, I'm like general. breaking the rules. You never really want to put concealer on top of powder, but I'm just going to see what happens. I've been wanting this makeup all day long. This is a way to do it if you really, really need a touch up with your concealer. Like put it on the back of your hand with a sponge and then you can kind of just get the tiniest amount. I've never done that before. Oh, that honestly looks, looks really good. good. It's kind of like touched up the situation. I like it. I do too. Yeah. I'm so oh, I it's only $20 too. So I feel like it's honestly it's way cheaper than if I would have bought it. I mean, it's not, it's not. It's not it's not it's not it's not about home from a very, very Sunday out of France. It's kind of like Why are you so... 